I took a quick trip to Atlanta and yes, I gotta tell you all what fragrances I wore while I was there. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here feels good to be back. Feels great, feeling refreshed. Whenever I take a moment away from the channel, but not really, it always feels good. But alas, I did a quick trip down to Atlanta and I took some fragrances with me. And you all know I like to share with you all what I wore plus what is giving me or not giving me. And I gotta say, some of it was a love, some of it was not. And we're gonna talk more about that as we get going. As always, lipstick of the day today, everyone. I was feeling kind of baby pink. So I went in with Mac Snob right here, an oldie but goodie. This was Barbie before we knew that we love Barbie lipsticks. So yes, Snob, everything on the face will be in the description box below as always. So you don't have to look for it. Next up, we have fragrance of the day. Y'all, I'm really enjoying this. And to think I was kind of on the fence about it when I first tested it out, but yeah, I'm digging it all the way. I'm all the way on the bandwagon. And this is from the Houseless Tamine and this is Peregrina. Yes, Peregrina. There's some rose in here. There's some myrrh in here. There's some caramel in here. This works in the winter time. That is the selling point of this fragrance. This is a cold weather win. I'm enjoying it. Full dedicated review will be coming up for you because you deserve it. So yes, Tamine's Peregrina is my fragrance of the day. So as I stated, this was a very quick trip to Atlanta. I'm talking two days, barely. So yeah, let's talk about what I wore. So since it was a quick trip, I just threw a bunch of samples in my bag and I'm gonna show you all all the samples that I took and tell you the names and then I'll show you all what I actually wore and really break that down. So let's get into it. First up, I have a decant of my Bond Number no. 9's Grinch Village, one of these little spray bottles. I get them off of Amazon. And of course, here is Grinch Village. We know it, we love it. There's already a full dedicated review up on the channel dedicated to Bond Number no. 9's Grinch Village. So definitely check that out if you want to know more about it. And let's see, what's the next sample I took? This is my sample of Zerjoff's Le Capital, you all. And yes, y'all know I do have the full size bottle of Le Capital, but since I had a sample of it, I was like, just take the sample and not bring my bottle with me. Cause I wanted options, you know, I wanted options. When it comes to Le Capital, this is a leather, peach, strawberry, caramel type of a fragrance. This is very nice. This fragrance is blended extremely well, but that's Zerja for you. And yeah, this is one I'm enjoying this time of year. So I figured why not pack it along? Cause I might want to smell rather delicious. See, next sample, this is from Initio and this is Side Effect. I don't own a bottle of Side Effect from Initio, but I'm enjoying it now that it's cold weather and a lot of people told me to try Side Effect more so when it's cooler because when I tried it when it was warmer, I'm like, that's okay. I do like this more now that it's cold. So elves, y'all told me correctly and I appreciate that. So thank you. So again, that is Initio Side Effect. Then I also took with me, this is also Initio and this is Absolute Aphrodisiac. This was a little bit first sniff and I just figured why not take it with me because it's cold and just get my whole life from it. It's very nice. It's an animalic vanilla and that's what makes it different. So I'm digging it. So again, that is Initio's Absolute Aphrodisiac. Then another sample that I took with me, this is from the House of Amouage, and this is my sample of Love Tuberose, the sample that started it all. And Love Tuberose did get an upgrade not too long ago, so here's the full-size bottle, so definitely Yes, you know how I feel about that if we got a full-size bottle. That one is a creamy, very creamy tuberose scent. It's a, it's a winter floral for me, so that's why I figured why not take it, because I like florals, but not a spring floral. This is a floral with a slightly gourmand touch. So if you've been looking for that type of scent, it's for you. Again, that is I'm gonna watch this Love Tuberose. Then, okay, this is another one that I've been deciding on trying to see how I really feel about it. This is my sample of Creed, and this is Creed Windflowers. So yes, Windflowers made the trip. Next up, I have a sample of Bond Number no. 9's Chelsea Nights. This is a party fragrance for me, a going out scent, and you all know the answer that I have the full size bottle of Chelsea Nights. This one was a love at first sniff fragrance. It lived rent free in my head for a year and yeah, it got an upgrade. So I figured why not pack my sample of it to take with me so I wouldn't have to take this big old 100 ml bottle. Then I decided to pack a Odie Bagoody. This is from Chanel and this is Coco Mademoiselle, a sample of it. It's halfway done. If you all recall, I upgraded to a full size bottle not too long ago. This was a scent that hadn't been in my collection in 10 years and I missed it. So that's why I brought it back. I enjoy this scent. Next sample I also brought was from Andrea Mack and this is my baby, Pavilion. I have about a quarter left of this sample. You all have heard me talk about Pavilion so much. Pavilion got an upgrade, as y'all know right here, that I have been enjoying. This is a honey, rose, oud, vanilla, saffron type of scent. 
it's rich it is divine and it's an extra so it's extremely strong and potent a little bit goes a very long way that's why i can just travel with the sample and be perfectly fine you don't have to bathe in pavilion so again that is from the house of andrea mack and that is pavilion last sample that i took with me this is from the house of bdk and this is vanille leather i took vanille leather with me because if you all recall vanille leather came out more so spring summer of 2023 and i said no i want to try this scent in the cold because it is january of 2024 and i'm filming this just to see what it's really giving me so why not take it on a trip so we'll talk about it <laughs> so now you all know the fragrances that i did take samples of now let me tell you what i actually wore and give you all the full experience of them so for the travel fragrance because we flew out early on a Monday morning. The travel fragrance was Amouage's Love Tuberose. So again, this was in my carry-on bag. And this was the fragrance. Now I sprayed out of my bottle, of course, before I left the house because why not get the full effect before we get on the plane? Again, early morning. Y'all love Tuberose? This was amazing as a travel scene. It did enough. It didn't do too much. And that's why I'm digging it. <laughs> it has top notes of Tuberose, Gardenia, and Jasmine, heart notes of Chantilly Cream and Vanilla. Then we have base notes of Cedarwood and Sandalwood. Hands down in this fragrance, y'all, it is the Tuberose, the Gardenia, the Chantilly Cream in that middle, and that Sandalwood to cream it out and round it out for sure. This was delightful as a travel scent. It smells very buttery, very smooth. Yes, it is a floral, but it's a floral that is well blended because of the Sandalwood and that Chantilly Cream. It has a slight bit of sweetness because of that vanilla. This made me smile on the plane because I was definitely sleep deprived. So, you know, we need anything that's gonna give us a little bit of a pick me up. So highly recommend this scent. It brought me much, much joy. And yeah, love to rose is a love. So very pleased and happy with this scent. And once we got there, I just kept love to rose going even after like changing and getting comfortable. I just kept love to rose going. So I let that rock out for all of Monday. <laughs> now on Tuesday, Tuesday was a full day actually in Atlanta, I had different things to do so you all i decided to say you know what let me try this scent again let me see how i feel about it because when i first smelled it i was on the fence about it but now i'm like let's see in a different time in a different season and i'm talking about my creed wind flowers now the bottle is gorgeous for this scent and this one does get a lot of love here on youtube in the fragrance community but y'all I can't do wind flowers. So I sprayed it on and again, it's winter time. So between 30 degrees and 50 degrees in Atlanta from the day, full day. Now longevity of this fragrance, it lasted all day, but it's something in this that smells so thick that it's kind of overwhelming and the borderline can almost make you nauseous, at least for me and my stomach. So it's something in this that I'm like, mm, I can't do it. I, it kind of had me feeling like, ooh, please, I need to die down. Of course, the fragrances that kind of almost make you nauseous are the ones that last the longest. So longevity and projection is definitely there in Creed Windflowers, but I do not need a full bottle of this. And the fact that it had me feeling kind of like squeamish in the cold weather, I can't do nothing with this in warm weather. It, it's going to make me go all the way. It's just, mm -mm, no. So Creed Windflowers, I know the girls love you and I'm so glad I bought a sample of you to test out because had I just gone off of the bottle and the write up and just seeing how it's loved in the community, I would be out of a lot of money and I'd be very upset right now. So yeah, I'm so glad again, I got like a little $5 sample of it because Creed Windflowers is a no for me. It was, let me know, how do you feel about Creed Windflowers? Am I alone with this? But yeah, it's something that it just doesn't work for my stomach, so no. <laughs> So then Wednesday was time to head on back to Nashville. I told y'all this was a very quick trip. <laughs> so I decided to wear another tester fragrance, one that I don't have a full size bottle of. And in this case, I decided to go with my BDK Vanille Leather fragrance, right? So Vanille Leather, which I've been digging this one more. When I first got it, I told you all in previous videos, going by the name, it let me down. Cause to me, it doesn't give me vanilla. It does not give me leather. It just doesn't, it gives me violet. This is a violet fragrance. So in BDK's Vanille Leather, there's violet in here. We got pink pepper. We have middle notes of tuberose, jasmine, and orange blossom. And then we have base notes of vanilla, orris, leather, benzoin, oak, and patchouli. Again, this is a violet fragrance. The orange blossom sings more in the winter time. Let me say that too, because I really enjoyed this as a travel scent. Cause I wore this 
in the daytime. We went and ate breakfast slash brunch because we had an afternoon flight. So this one got me through all of that. And it was a nice sweetness to it. It was very pleasant. This is very blended well. It's smooth. There's no sharp edges in this fragrance. So I do like this. And I'm actually ready to say that, yeah, you know what? I do want a full size bottle of BDK's Vanilla Leather. This one brought me joy. I actually like it more so now in the winter than I did in the summertime when I first smelled it. It was okay then, but I really like it now that it is wintertime. So BDK's Vanilla Leather is a win. Oh, I just realized something. Concerning Creed Windflowers, I did not give y'all the notes. So let's like rewind here and go back. So with Creed Windflowers, by the way, the notes are Jasmine Orange Blossom and Peach. Middle notes are Jasmine Sandback, Tuberose and Rose. Then there's base notes of Musk, Orange Blossom, Praline, Iris, and Sandalwood. I'm still in shock that with these notes, these sound like a dream fragrance to me because a lot of these I like in other fragrances. I like paired together, but I don't know. Again, Creed Windflowers is the dud in this group. Everything else that I talked about and I brought with me, I do like, I do love. And as you see, some of these even already have full size bottles, but yeah. Creed Windflowers again confirmed why we sample before we buy full size because mm mm. It's a no for me, it's a no for me. So I just wanted to just go back and correct this so you all would know the notes for those that may be interested. Again, please sample it for yourself. One thing about Creed, especially like Windflowers because it's so popular, you can go and smell it for yourself at a counter. So please do that. I highly recommend it, else, please. But alas, that was all I wore. Cause again, this was a very quick trip. I am obviously back. I'm settled in and I'm feeling good. Feeling good, feeling great. Oh, and by the way, spoiler alert. Yes, I did do a lot of fragrance smelling and sniffing. If you were following my Instagram page, you know I smelled a lot and I smell some newness in there too. So yeah, we'll be talking about that in another video. But alas, that is all I took with me to Atlanta. Let me know what you think about my choices, how I did things. Let me know, do you love some of these fragrances? Do you hate some of these fragrances I talked about? I know y'all are opinionated ills. That's why I enjoy y'all. So definitely drop it in the comments below and I do read them. So until next time, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.